Well, everyone, it's time for us to go and kind of compare the Samsung Files application and the Google Files application and kind of see which one is the better one for you. Now, I will definitely tell you, both of these kind of give you the same exact type of layout for the most part. Like, they both allow you to see your images and photos and, you know, so many other things, files that you have inside of both. So it's not like you're really going to be seeing massive differences between the one to the other. But the layouts are fairly different. And I'll tell you, Samsung is probably going to go towards the Google, you know, application route, I think, in the future anyways. So there could be a chance where Samsung Files is overtaken by Google Files in the future. But as of right now, let's go and take a look. Now, from a visual standpoint, you can see there's already some slight differences. So you can see that they both give us kind of a recent files portion at the very top. You have a search bar kind of at the very top too. And then you have these categories right here that allow you to go and kind of choose different categories. And they're both looks like kind of the same thing, like images and audio and files and stuff like that. Now, at, towards the bottom, you have these storage options. Now, it is nice because within Samsung Files, we do have the option of choosing our different, you know, cloud storage options as well right here. So you can have that right here instead of Google Photos or Google, you know, Files. You have the internal storage. You do have your other storage, which does include your cloud operating, like cloud uh, options, but it doesn't show you that right here. Now, beyond that, you have your trash and managed storage. You just have a few more clicks inside of this one to access it. So that at the core kind of covers that up. Now, we do have some other options here. We have our start options and our save folder inside of our Google Files app. Inside of our Samsung Files app, the layout is very good. It's very similar. So if you want to, you can go and you know, access your downloads right here, for example. And you can go through and get access to whatever you want to. If you want to hold down on a particular file right here, what you can do is you can you know, start it. So we have that start option. You can click on more if you want to just you know, move it around or whatever. Or It's actually the move, not more. And if you want to, you can also copy this file, share it out. If you tap on more, you can go and kind of see a few more things. You can also move it to a secure folder here too, which is a really nice thing. So at the core, there's a lot of overlap here. There's not really too many differences here. And if I'm going to go and use something like a Samsung you know, folders you know, app, it's basically the same exact thing. You're really not missing out on too much. The search is still going to be good. There's a lot of settings that you can change here as well. You can you know jump right in and sign into your OneDrive and Google Drive as well. And it's pretty much the same thing. Like you can edit your menu items too if you want to even show these things here if you really want to. But that is that for the Samsung Files app. On the Google Files app, it's more or less the exact same thing. It's just the layout is slightly different. So here you can go through, you can kind of change whatever you want to. So again, you have the settings. So again, you have these three lines in the very top left where you can go through and you can see your trash, your clean if you want to clean things up, your settings folder again, your settings you know, option. We can go through and you can modify your settings here. Looks like there's more settings that you can kind of change throughout here on your Google Files app than on Samsung Files app. But even then, it's just like the UI is a little bit different. Now, if you go ahead and find a file, so if I go and click on Downloads, if I go and hold down on a random file, you can see at the very top, that's where I get the layouts where I can change. And then if I click on the three dots right here, you can see I can select all, I can open with, copy to, uh, to start, I can move to a safe folder. I can back up to Google Drive, which is built in right in. I can also get the file info right here. Now, if I go and click on file info on both, I'm just curious to see what ends up happening or what I end up seeing. So I click right here. Do I get, so I do get details and you can see it gives somewhat the same type of information, just a little bit, maybe different font, but you can see I get the file size. Actually on this one, I'm not even getting the file size, am I? No, I am. It's 129 megabytes here. The date, the time, kind of the path, the path here. So basically the same exact information as well. So you're really getting the same type of features. Really the big things I wanted to see was, you know, is there a secure folder? Is there a safe folder I can access and put my files in? Am I able to share the files and folders out and how much information I'm getting per the files? Beyond that, it's really just a cosmetic thing. Do you like Samsung files app more or do you like Google files app more? And personally for me, I think the layout of the Google files app is a little bit more my design language like it looks very similar to google drive and i like the way google drive and google files kind of looks but realistically speaking from a feature standpoint i really don't think you're missing out on too much and they're kind of more or less the same exact thing when it kind of comes down to it so from that standpoint that kind of covers it up there for the most part if you have any other thoughts or questions please let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that would mean so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video